Today is September the 17th, 2015, and I'm going to make a video and share this with the world because I've had this transformer. hope this thing will focus and you can read it. This is a UTC type HA134. Very nice looking little transformer. You see them on eBay for tremendous prices. Uh, here's some notes I made on it some time ago. It's supposed to have a frequency response of 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz plus or minus 1 dB. They rated it 15 watts. It's got uh, the primary is either 5K or 9.4K. It's also, uh, if you look in the UTC catalogs, you'll see they rated it 5K and 10K. The problem with it is, is here is its secondary impedances. 50 ohms, 125, all these crazy ones. Well, we don't want that. We want 8 ohms, don't we? Well, I've got UTC catalogs. I've looked it up online. I can find bits and pieces of this thing everywhere, but I can't find the real thing. So I finally decided to figure it out myself, and here's the truth. Here's the way it's wired. This primary and this primary are duplicates. And this secondary and this secondary are duplicates. At one end, they're, they're close together. There's a little bit of impedance here, a lot more here, a little bit here, a lot more there. This is the way it's actually wired. One, two, and four, three, five, and six. These might be able to be used as screen taps if you put the plate here and the plate here. Assuming you don't use these, you can put the plate here on pin one and the plate on pin six, and then you've got to strap these two together. This is your center tap. This will be off to the high voltage. This will be off to high voltage. This is for a, uh, you know, obviously a center tapped push-pull amplifier. So, high voltage here, plate here, plate here for 10K. If you put the plate here and the plate here, one plate here, one plate here, you can get 5K. Assuming that you use the impedances that they suggest over here. Now what they tell you is that if you strap, um, let's see, 8, 9, and 10, and 11 together. They say if you strap 8 to 9 and 10 to 11, you put these two parallel, then that gives you 50 ohms. That's the lowest impedance they show you how to get. Well, 50 ohms just isn't good enough. And if you do 8 to 9 and 10 to 11, and then, you know, take it off of one of these two points, either 8 and 10 or 9 and 11, 8 to 9, 10, 11, you get 50 ohms out here, and you put 50 ohms out here, then you'll get 5K across here, and 10K across here, just, just like it says. But like I say, they just give you bits and pieces, and nowhere, nowhere have I been able to find this. But this is true and accurate, guarantee it. Okay, <clears throat> with all that said, what I have found out is if you strap 7 to 11 and 8 to 12, 7 to 11 and 8 to 12, you'll get about 8 ohms if you use and you put this into 8 ohms, the reflected impedance back here will be 5K between 1 and 6. It will work. This is the most important thing I wanted to show you. Because anybody that has one of these things right here, you need to know this. And I, I can't find it. Like I say, bits and pieces here and there, but this is the way it's wired. I'm going to show you. I'm going to strap it their way. We'll do the voltage readings. And we'll... Uh, take those ratios, we'll square it, we'll put 50 over here, and you'll see that you get 5K and 10K over here. Let me show you how that's done. If you watched any of my videos before on Transformers, you know what I'm about to do. Okay, this thing right here is strapped for their 50 ohm. See, I've got 3 and 4 shorted together. That's the center tap. Now I got it across 1 and 6. And then I've got uh, 7 to 11 and 8 to 12. 7 to 11 and 8 to 12. No, I want to do it their way first and, and show you how you, you actually get their number. Let's do 8 to 9 and 10 to 11. 8 to 9 and uh, <clears throat> 8 to 9 and 10 to 11. That's the way they're saying you'll get 50 ohms. Okay? And then we should get about 10K across here. 
So now I've got one of their setups, 8 to 9, 10 to 11, and I'm going to put the voltage in, making sure nothing's shorted. Okay. Then we're going to measure our input voltage as 114.4. Write that down. One one fourteen point four, and then the secondary voltage is going to be eight point one three. Hope you can see the meter. Eight point one three. Eight point one three. Okay. Plug this thing. Now, if we want to determine impedance ratios, if what we do, you've seen me do this before. That'd be 114.4, divide that, and we get 14.07. That's our turns ratio. If we square that, we get 198. And then if we multiply and if we put 50 ohms out here, we multiply it times 50. See, we get 9,900. Hope you can see that. Hope the camera focuses on that well. So what they tell us to do and what we will get from doing what they tell us to do actually works. Okay. Now with that said, what I have determined is to get 8 ohms. And again, if, if, we, uh, if we do their thing and, and, we, and I move the input voltage, and I've got it on 1 and 6 now. If I move it to 2 and 5 and do the same thing over here, then I'll get 5K. It works. <clears throat> okay, now let's strap, um, let's strap the, um, the other ones, 7 to 11 and 8 to 12. 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 That's our low impedance windings. Now if we plug this guy in, we're going to make the measurements again because our 120 volts sometimes varies a little bit with load. It's 100, 115. Let's write that down. 1152 and then look at these voltages right here 4.82 okay 4.82 4.82 now let's do those ratios 115 enter 4.82 divide that we get a impedance, we get a, a voltage ratio or a turns ratio, whichever you want to call it, of 23.86. If we square that, and then we assume put 8 ohms out here where we've strapped 7 to 11 and 8 to 12, assuming we put 8 ohms out there, 8 times, we get 4,553. We get pretty much our 5K back. Makes sense, huh? So you can use this with 8 ohms. Wire this thing up. This is the way it comes. You've got a jumper 4 to 3. And then you jumper a wire from 7 to 11. Another one from 8 to 12. And off of here and here is 8 ohms. And off of here and here is uh, 4,500. 100 ohms or 5k and there's your center tap it will work so all of these fancy little uh, transformers out there that seem useless does have a usage now probably the reason they don't give you this setup is probably because the size of the wire would not be correct would not be large enough for the amount of current that you would be using at 8 ohms. But these things are so robust, I don't think you'll have any problems with it at all. I think it'll run for 100 years. But in the strict world of engineering, this is probably, the wire over here is probably too small for 8 ohms in the current. But it'll work.
I hope this helps somebody. I hope it makes it so you can actually use one of these transformers. It's mighty little HA-134. Again, it's supposed to be rated 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz, plus or minus the dB. They don't say specifically that it's at 15 watts, but I assume it is. So there you go.